All right, what's up, guys? Wombo J, and uh, I'm back right now with a MM710 versus Model O video. Cause the Model O has been my it's the OG Model O, by the way, that came out back in May, I think. This has been my main for half a year now, seven months, six months, something like that. But uh, yeah, when I first got the mouse, loved it. Uh, really great, really lightweight, lighter than anything else. But uh. It's just too big for my, I mean, like, yeah, I can palm grip it, but usually I'm more of a claw fingertip guy, and my fingers, look, I can still tap it, but they sit really far back on the triggers, and these are really loud switches too, I just noticed that, but uh, yeah, they sit really far back on the triggers, it hasn't been a problem, because I've just gotten used to it, but when I saw this mouse, the M710, I was like, do I get this or do I get the Model O minus? Because I saw the Model O minus, so I was like, nah, I already have a Model O. I don't really need a minus. So I was going to wait for the Model D minus, but then I saw this. The MM710, and I was like, well, how much smaller is it than the original Model O? Is it actually going to fit my hand size? How much lighter is it? And, uh, yeah. So, uh, for a little quick side by side right there, you can obviously see this is a, the Model O is a lot longer than a lot bigger than the Model D. Because the MM710 weighs 53 grams, has a 3389 sensor, an ultra weave cable, which personally is way better than the stock. Well, not the stock. This is the OG ascended cable, the really thick shoelace one that doesn't actually, well, it doesn't actually really fit in the glorious mouse bungee. See this one, this is MM710, it fits perfectly in this bungee. The original ascended cable, I had to force it in, like shrub it in, and it, I could have broke the mouse cable. But uh, yeah, it, it's kind of weird that their own cord didn't really fit, but a different company's does. But yeah, uh, has a 3389 sensor, ultra reef cable, 100% virgin PTFE feet, same as the Model O. And the dimensions are 117 millimeters for length, 63 millimeters for width, like over here this way. And a 38.3 millimeter height from the bottom of the mouse pad to up here. So it's really like, I like this is really a fat back mouse it fits my hand it lets me rest my palm right here and it lets my claw grip be way better and look how far up my fingers are on the trigger versus over here on like the model low and i'm like doing like that see that yeah i feel like i can click way quicker because back here it's a higher point down here it's a lower point so the travel distance is lessened so yeah i feel like i can just click it a lot faster but for the Model O dimensions, it's 67 grams, has a 3360 sensor, which really doesn't matter at this point. They're both top optical. So it's just preference of the sensor that you want. 3389 is technically better, but it's, eh, they both work. So yeah, this has the OG Ascended cable, not the new ones. I could replace it with one of the new ones because they sell them separately. I was thinking about getting a pink cable, but then I was like, well, I have the MM710 now, so there's no need for me to replace this at all. 100% uh, virgin PTFE feet, just like the MM710. Um, the dimensions are 128 millimeters for length, 66 millimeters for width, and 37.5 millimeters for height. So it's an overall just bigger mouse, except for in the height department because of this little hump back here on the MM710. And uh, this also has RGB backlighting as you can see on the sides and on the mouse thing um i like rgb but this i love this stealth black one but it kind of looks weird compared to all all my other stuff now is this an rgb keyboard this is an another rgb keyboard my computer has rgb my go xlr over there mini has rgb but my mouse doesn't so it's kind of off but i could have got the mm711 but it was I didn't really want it because it was heavier. It was like what, two grams, three grams heavier. I wanted to keep it as light as possible. Three grams probably doesn't make that big of a difference, but still, that's what I wanted. And uh, for, like I said before, Cooler Master shape is generally just better for my claw grip. Shorter mouse, bigger hump for me to rest my paw on, my palm on, and then like not as wide so I can grip it. But yeah, this is just way better mouse for me um because my smaller hand size my low is it's just way too big i really 
I can still use it like easily. I've used it for five months, but this feels way better getting a mouse that actually fits your hand. Uh, Ultra Wii Gen 1, as I stated before, way better than OG Ascended Cable. Little shoelace one right here. I don't know about the new ones. The new ones, they, they do come stock on these mice. And they say they're a lot better than them. But I haven't personally tested them, so that's your own theory. And uh, another little thing. If you turn your model, like my eyes are pointed this way. So if you turn your model O a certain way, especially at night. The RGB in here, like the little LEDs, will like shrink out of the holes and hit you in the eye and blind you. It's done it so many times, and I hate it when it does this, because like it really just hits me in my eye, and I have to turn the mouse sideways like this, or I just have to push it off to the side so I don't see it. But when you're playing, you know your hands covering it, so you you're never gonna see it like that. But just when the mouse is sitting, sometimes and you move around in your chair, you might lean back, you might lean forward, it'll hit you at the corner of your eye. And, semi blind you you know you're not gonna go permanently but yeah it just makes you wink a little bit like wow that's really bright then push it over especially if you're in the dark or something like that so uh yeah that's one reason i prefer no rgb but i do get it just looks weird in my setup because i don't have it and uh on the mm710 a lot of people have don't like this feature but you can actually feel the holes a lot more in the mm710 aka like when you're aiming when you're gripping like a lot of people don't like this but i do i usually rest my pinky like right here in this hole when i'm aiming i usually go like this when i'm doing claw and i usually rest my pinky right there in this hole so it can like just sit there and have like a little space for me to like push into and give a lot of people don't like that they find it weird that you can feel the holes on the mouse but i'm like that's the point of bigger holes but uh yeah and also it's one of the things this doesn't have any on the side so this really cut probably could have been 65 or so grams if they they could have still kept the glorious face right here just made this whole thing like uh holy not holy <laughs> i guess yeah that holy would be the word and just put more on this side this could have been down to like 55 or so but that's what they had the model o minus for so but uh yeah that's my basic comparison overall better mouse just doesn't match the aesthetic as much like if i had like a stealth black keyboard or something like that with like not as much on it this would probably go way better with it but it just doesn't and uh yeah that's about it for this one just wanted to compare the two show why this one is now my main and probably will be for a while until they release more colors i really want that black and yellow color of the mm710 like the one they showed off at CES. They don't know if they're making them yet. They're just going to do which one's most popular. And um, I like the black and yellow. But I guarantee the teal color. The red color. And uh, all the other ones. Besides black and yellow really. Are going to make it. It was, like, it was like this entire right here. This entire frame part was yellow. This part was black. I think this upper one was black too. And then like it had a red DPI button. It looked great. That's the one I want. But i don't think they're gonna make that one i'm pretty sure it's gonna be the teal one and the red one but uh yeah it's about it for this one just wanted to show why this is now my new main especially on this glide 19 because it's a lighter it's a lighter weight mouse similar feet but it just feels a lot better in my hand that's why when you get to top mice like this it all comes down to size not really features or anything they all both have great sensors both have great feet both have decent cables, better than like Zowie stock cables and Logitech ones now. But uh, yeah, that's about it for this one and uh, I'm out.